Do you hear about what Universal did on the street where SAG AFTRA's picketing? Did they make their picketers touch naked dancers? No, that would be Lizzo. Oh, yes. I get those two confused. Me too. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm not Lizzo. And you follow the Instagram, Twitter, for Juicy Cotton, thanks for your follow guys. We got like that whole thing's weird to me. The whole Lizzo thing? Yeah, yeah it really <laughs> it's, is. It's, it's super strange. It's very, very uh, strange. But Universal, uh, without getting permission from the city, and the city good. find them, but yeah, they cut the trees, yeah, so there's no shade. Yeah, I saw that. In that yeah, lovely pettiness. Right? Yeah. Uh, today we got a, I believe it's a new Canada trailer because uh, it's Raj B. Shetty. Raj for, B. Shetty. It's his, uh, I've heard a lot about this. <laughs> Sorry. I, what? It's a great name for a film company. Lighter Buddha Films. Oh, I did see that. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, the film is called Toby. Uh, so if you've seen The Office, this is kind of a spinoff of him. Exactly. Um, but I've heard a lot about it because I follow Raj B. Shetty. Um, he's from GGBB. He's the guy that did the dance in GGBB. Yes. That guy. Yes. And we've seen him in a couple other things as well. He's a really good actor. He's also a really good director. Uh, but this is Make the Way for Mari. Here's the uh, trailer of the most awaited movie, Toby. Uh, it doesn't say. Yeah, that's all it says. It's, it's August, August 25th. August, the so. month for all the movies. Yeah, I guess, right? I guess it's good that Animal kind of moved, but moved to December, which also has a ton of movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's better. Here we go.
<laughs> so it's uh I think it's very similar to GGVV in the fact that it's it's There's, a horror com rom action. I think it has a, a lot to do with because that one had um, like myth, um, not mythological, but um, Hindu lore uh -huh. uh, overtones of like the, this guy represents this character. This guy's right. I think it's a very similar thing. Right, that the, he's representing somebody. I think that visual of him riding the cow at the end was probably pretty representative of something don't know what it is yeah but i think it's gonna be one of those kind of films <laughs> and i'm sorry we don't know what it I, I saw a comment from somebody who said that's the problem with your channel you guys don't do research before you react how what if we research on something before we react to it then we're not having a pure reaction to something yeah it's kind of self-evident <laughs> Unbelievable. Now that I know about it, we can you guys can tell us when you do more research about the film that's coming out. After the fact. But like how am I supposed to know what it would give away what the thing's about? Duh. <laughs> Makes no sense. None but, whatsoever. Uh what a true I mean uh, I, when it started I thought we were getting a horror film. I think you kind of are. And then it I turned into a, a a romance. A a kind of a romance. Yo yeah. With the music accompanying it and everything, a kind of lighthearted comedy romance and then it turned into an, an, an action whodunit turned into an action whodunit I didn't yeah I didn't he was kicking that. people he was handcuffed and I think that's still he might have been wrongfully accused crime drama thriller yeah is what it would be uh, direct I mean uh, specified with a love story in between is it the same director as GGVV looks very original no Raj B. Shetty directed GGVV uh, Raj B. Shetty is not Direct, he wrote this one. But he wrote it, yeah. And, but <clears throat> Basil, the director, was involved in some way in GGVV. Sorry, I'm looking. Uh, sound. AD. He was an AD. Okay. <laughs> nice. I like that. Uh, if you haven't seen our review of GGVV, please go watch it. We love that movie. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, had had one of the most iconic moments of the year for us in cinema with with Raj. Yeah, um, but it looked really cool. I it looked, yeah, it, it looks uh, very interesting. Uh, one I would would hope we uh, get it. Um, That's the I question. Would, but I think we should because with the success that Canada cinema has been having in the past few years, KGF obviously blew the doors wide open. Um, but then obviously the, um, the one last year that, um, the, whoa, that one. Right. Um, yeah. and then GGVV came out and then. The it's so funny that you, <laughs> I knew, ex I know exactly what you were referring to just by just saying, whoa, yeah, I, that's, it? that's what it is. Kantara. That's the movie. Katara. Kantara. Nice. Good Kantara. memory. I, I was like, I, it was not a hard name. I just couldn't remember it for the life of me, but there's a lot of really, it's similar to GGVV striking visuals in this uh one he has such a unique look uh raj b shetty uh he could be like so innocent looking but he can also be he look, can look like one of the creepiest creeps you've ever yeah, seen yeah 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 it looks like vishal bardwash i swear to god at <laughs> doesn't it for a second it does it does look, it <laughs> does look 37 like vishal. seconds it looks like vishal bardwash it's not but it, it kind of looks like him um but like a, a lot of the in the rain shots, a lot of the action shots, and a lot of just like the horror kind of this is creepy, kind of what's happening here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's just because he said because at the beginning they were telling a story about Satan, right? Yes. Or it's uh, I don't know if it's that might have just been the translation. It might have been some other deity. Um, the sacrificial sheep has escaped. Sheep shouldn't set foot, foot back in the village. Otherwise, it'll come back as death. Uh, so he's a sheep. That might be why he looks so innocent. <laughs> Maybe. Cause he's... But then it said at the end that he came back from the dead. Well, if he's Satan, I mean, I guess he's... Or whoever, uh, some demon, some Satan, or whoever this is. I'm assuming there's a lot to this story similar to GGVV in terms of just the Hindu mythology element to it. I, I assume. Yeah. Um, because that's what it feels like. And that's what GGVV, what, what did that say? From the makers of GGVV. No, it would turn into... Mari, Mari. goddess of death. Yes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so I think that's what it is. Um, whoever the goddess of death is, I'm assuming that's kind of the inspiration of this, which is uh, cool. I trust... I them. thought that... It, it, I was going to say a stupid joke. What? 
was going to say who the goddess of death was. It would have been a stupid joke. Um, I'm super interested in it. I, I think it, I, I hope we get it because it, Canada cinema has been doing very well lately, especially with their, a lot of their stuff kind of really deserves to be seen on the big screen. Cause yeah. A lot of like even Kantara had those, that ending sequence, the ending. I would have, I would have loved to have seen that uh, on the screen. Would have been amazing. Then GGVV had a ton, a, a, a ton of yeah. great visual stuff that would have been cool to see on the screen. Um, so to be really, and that GGVV did not come. I had to get a screener for that one, if you remember. Yeah, Kantara was here, and it got more as it did so well. Right. Um, but we'll see about this one. It looks really cool. I'd be really interested in seeing it. Let us know what you thought about the trailer here. If you're interested in what should be the next Canada film that we should watch, please let us know down below. Just